Buddy, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called admin from the MLSC web category. So we have been given with the URL. Now going on to the URL, you'll see that it says login as manager. So just a guess where I typed in manager and it says you will have to also supply in the password. Now what you can try to do here is you can look for SQL injection, no SQL injection and even XPath injection. I try to do all of those all of that stuff after my first test is passed. So the first thing that I try to do is looking for hidden credentials or some source code leakage or information disclosures in the source code. So as you can see, the credentials are manager and followed by this MLSC, which is the password. If you have to click on the login one login button, you'll see that you just re get redirected to the home page itself. But here you'll see that there is a token. So let's just copy the token. And if I were to paste it here, you'll see that it starts with it starts with EJY. E Y J and it should have two dots somewhere. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So this gives a hint that it is a JWT token going to JWT.io and if I were to paste it, you will see that in the payload section, it says is admin is equal to false. So here I will have to try to do, I will I try to change it to true, but how can you do it? Because there is a signature involved. So one of the things that you can try to do is you can type in none over here and it will altogether skip the signature or you can just try to change it to true itself and hope that due to some misconfiguration issues, it will not check for the signature. But in my case or in the case of the CTF, this was not the case. So here you'll have only one option left and that is to brute force the secret key. Now here you'll have to guess that the secret key is a weak one or or is available online that is the only thing that you can try to that will make you go forward with brute forcing because brute forcing can be a tiresome task it might take hours and even weeks so let's just type in a tool called my jwt followed by the jwt token and brute force followed by the name of the file so here are 10 1000 most co most common passwords and I'll be trying to brute force it with these with this list. And as you can see, I straight away get the password, which is one, two, three, four. So let's just change it to one, two, three, four. And let's change this to true. So and let me turn on my intercept. And proxy on. We have the JWT token. Let's turn the intercept on. Let's click on the dashboard button. Let's send it to repeater and let's just change this to the new one that we have just forged which is this one so and as you can see we get the flag right over here so thank you guys this is the video